Hello, guys. Welcome to another Friday AMA with uh, me, Dan Friedman, Ali Bornoy of Ergo. Say hi Hello, everyone. My pleasure to be here. And uh, yeah, this time uh, for updates and AMA session. Great, great. Well, um, so what we'll do is I'll start with uh, my end and then I'll uh, hand it over to Alex to do uh, the ecosystem and technical updates um, and whatever else he feels to update you on. Uh, so uh, what's been happening on my end? Well, it's been a really eventful week. Uh, first and foremost, I know that every, well, not everybody, but many people are wondering about the progress with uh, more exchange listings. Um, so as I explained in last week's AMA, um, the exchange listings for the big exchanges are not as simple as basically just making a phone call and having some connections and saying, hey, can you list this coin? You know, um, it has several moving parts, uh, one of which is uh, decentralization, obviously, basically how many uh, how many nodes are running the network. That is that heavily by the larger exchanges like Coinbase, like uh, like Binance. Um, also, uh, things like legal opinions matter for the larger exchanges because uh, what they need to know is uh, because the larger exchanges are regulated, uh, they need to know exactly what is going on with that with a particular um, token they're going to be listing. Uh, how was it issued? how is it being used and so on and so forth if there is a chance that it could be classified as a security so all of these things require a legal opinion an official legal opinion um, so to do that uh, we are actually working with a very prominent uh, firm malta uh, which we will announce um, in, in, in the coming days and uh, we are now securing legal opinion of, for the united states uh, to with it with the aim of using it for uh, exchange listings because uh, United States legal opinion is one of the most important ones out there because everybody basically looks at the regulatory uh, regulatory um, environment of the United States even more than Europe even more than Asia the U S is basically leading the, the sentiment out there for regulation um, another moving part that's really important. Uh, to get listed on a uh, tier one uh, exchanges like Binance or like Coinbase is uh, the actual performance of the of the coin and specifically not actually the price action per se. It's all about volume and it's all about liquidity. And so to do that, what I was explaining last week was we are um, putting together a comprehensive and have put together a comprehensive market making plan uh with a very prominent market maker uh that we've been we started working with uh recently and so now we are starting to add liquidity to exchanges we're starting to concentrate on picking up volume all of these things are crucial to uh to getting listed uh therefore that's that that's very important it takes a little bit of time so i ask that the community give us some runway uh, to uh, get this going, because once the volume is there, once the liquidity is there, uh, listings will follow. Um, it's just it's a very um, nuanced uh, type of environment. So the next thing that I would like to um, talk to you about is um, what we've been doing internally. And so, uh, as you know, uh, Ergo has been. Um, spending more time making things official uh, with, uh, with uh, getting the Ergo Foundation registered in Singapore and creating a company and uh, uh, just really um, making the team more. Fun. Of course, the input of the community is super important. That's what Ergo is all about. And of course, the community is still number one to us. Uh, with that, we also would like to have a, um, I would say, a, an infrastructure to support the movement of the community and to amplify what we already have so that um, Ergo just has has an opportunity to grow out because really I see Ergo as something that's an it's already it's come an amazing uh, it's, it's, has an amazing journey right to get here but there's also so much untapped potential 
with Ergo that I think that if it's just, uh, you know, very slightly pivoted the right way, it will explode. I mean, I really don't see why Ergo can't be a top 20, even a top 10 project. It is just that good. Um, so, what? Uh, and, and actually going to that, um, what does a top 20 or top 10 project have? Well, of course, they have their marketing in place. They have their community behind them. Community is, it, it's the most important thing, I think. It's the most important, even more important than uh, the actual business cases, although these are also very important. Um, and so speaking about business cases, this is something that I have started to really, um, uh, really engage in. Um, Ergo is amazing tech that needs to have more adoption. And so what I'm looking for right now, basically how to amplify, not just myself, but the team, uh, is looking to amplify um, basically business involvement and business use cases, ergo, this is another another big focus of, of ours. Um, layer two solutions, we'd like to have uh, more layer two solutions built so that we can attract more business and therefore more usage to the ergo platform. And, uh, you know, it's... It, this is something that will unlock the awesome potential potential that we have just sitting there and waiting to be utilized. Uh, the next uh, thing that I would like to touch on is uh, marketing and our PR plan, which is also coming along really nicely. Uh, we are um, in the process of uh, creating a, a wider scope plan with the help of a marketing firm and uh, which will include a PR plan, a market plan, a social media expansion plan. And this will also um, go in concert with, um, with, with a, uh, a, I wouldn't say rebranding, a revamping of our current uh, information, our current, uh, the look and feel of the brand. Um, moving on from there, um, what I've also, and the team has also been focused on is, again, how to encourage and engage the community in building on Ergo um, to give them ways of creating business on Ergo. Because again, this is what it's all about. It's all about use cases. It's all about community utilizing the potential of this and making their own enterprises, you know, because we have many, many entrepreneurs in the community. They're just waiting for a chance to really grab their market share their, of, of what interests them and to create dApps, create, you know, and a plethora of utility. Uh, for that, we would need an ecosystem fund. And so this is, I've been discussing with a couple of, uh, very, uh, very close contacts of mine. Again, this is something when it's developed, I know I'm being a little bit vague about to because I don't like to really give specifics about things that have not been signed yet. Once things are signed, there will be specifics, there will be announcements. Um, and I believe that the community will be, will be really happy. Um, aside from that, I would also like to uh, engage in a some sort of a, a community-run treasury, sort of like what Cardano has with Catalyst. Um, and again, this is something that we will discuss with the community, and we will get your input. And of course, we'll you know we will follow the sentiment of the community. That is it for my end. I will hand it over to Alex for system and technical updates. So please go ahead, Alex. Uh, yeah, so um, uh, at this point, uh, well, the adoption is uh, the most important thing. And uh, for that, uh, we need for more and more applications. And, uh, you know, there is a, a portal uh, for applications uh, launched on top of Ergo, uh, Sigma uh, verse .io. Uh So uh, recently, well, uh, it's uh, got an update and, uh, well, a uh, number of uh, applications there, uh, like, uh, doubled. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, in regards with applications, so NFTs uh, are going uh, especially well on top of Ergo. Uh, so uh, maybe uh, we need uh, to do a special uh, podcast to, to cover them. Uh, so it was a podcast like uh, four year, months ago or five uh, well, with NFT artists, but uh, since then, so uh, 
uh, we got a lot of new artists and uh, a lot of new uh, NFT projects. Um, all right, so uh, then uh, the, there is a uh, need uh, to get, uh, well, what was called uh, the liquidity machine, right? So uh, basic uh, DeFi machinery on top of Ergo. Uh, so uh, the DEX uh, and uh, uh, yeah, the bridges uh, to get liquidity from other uh, blockchains. It's uh, the crucial thing for sure uh, to get uh, liquidity onboarded on top of Ergo. Um, and uh, yeah, also other uh, basic uh, things such as stable coin and uh, yeah, maybe uh, loan applications and so on. Right, so uh, some uh, basic uh, things. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, currently, uh, well, uh, Ergodex uh, uh, is in better mode. So uh, recently there were problems with the uh, Euroi uh, nightly wallets. Currently they resolved, so you can continue to use. Uh, so uh, we are waiting uh, from Emorgo uh, guys to uh, get uh, deep connector support in the main uh, Euroi wallet. And then, uh, yeah, Ergodex uh, will be uh, much more usable. Well, uh, there are some alternative uh, plans to uh, get connected to uh, other uh, wallets as well. Uh, so uh, there are uh, some solutions like uh, assembly services uh, used in uh, Ergo Auctions House, for example, or Ergo Utils. Uh, Yeah, uh, the, the, the new standard uh, ErgoPay, uh, which is not implemented as far as I know uh, for any application. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, here uh, things are uh, going. And, uh, well, uh, we uh, had a call with uh, Suzy uh, guys, uh, so previously uh, Gravity. And, uh, uh, yeah, it seems uh, there will be uh, a bridge. Uh, well, and, uh, uh, unlike uh, previous plans, so uh, the first bridge uh, built with them uh, will be with uh, Solana, and uh, it will bring uh, well uh, in the first place uh, the USDT uh, from uh, Solana on top of Argo. Uh, as um, yeah, uh, there is officially uh, issued uh, USDT on top of Solana. All right, uh, then uh, yeah, uh, with it uh, we will have uh, new liquidity pools on Argo Dex. And uh, with uh, more liquidity uh, pools, uh, yeah, then uh, the stable coin, uh, we already have the algorithmic uh, stable coin. Uh, Sigma USD uh, will be uh, also uh, more uh, popular. Uh, so, yeah, it's a kind of a self uh, bootstrapping uh, liquidity machine and, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the, the bridges component is very much needed. So it's uh, a little bit early to announce uh, any dates. Uh, maybe uh, next week uh, we can uh, do something about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, we are getting uh, more uh, wallets. Uh, so uh, there is a uh, better uh, wallet for iOS, uh, which is a port of existing um, Ergo wallet for Android. Uh, there are uh, new wallets from community, so uh, the uh, desktop wallets, uh, Ergo, uh, Java uh, wallets, uh, something like that. Uh, so uh, they are organizing poll uh, for a better name, so uh, please participate and yeah, please try it's a desktop wallet. Uh, mostly, uh, so there is also Minotaur uh, wallet uh, in progress. Uh, uh, well, uh, it was done during uh, Ergo hack, and uh, yeah, m m maybe uh, uh, usable, uh, but uh, will be out soon. Also, uh, let's see. So yeah, actually, uh, a lot of projects uh, went uh, out from uh, Ergo hacks. We, we had uh, like uh, Ergo Lens is planning uh, to be launched uh, around uh, uh, the New Year's Eve, and then. Um, then, yeah, so uh, the, there is some uh, uh, new projects, uh, Ergo Pets. Uh, I, I don't even uh, know much uh, details about. Uh, so uh, currently, uh, well, uh, we are uh, uh, having a plan to uh, collect information about the 
uh, ecosystem as well it's growing uh, and yeah it's mostly uh, growing uh, via uh, grassroots uh, efforts so uh, it's uh, hard to track uh, sometimes even uh, what's uh, going on so yeah uh, now uh, well uh, we have a dedicated uh, person in the team uh, so uh, she will uh, collect information uh, about uh, projects and uh, yeah uh, progress uh, that they made uh, our uh, uh, recently and uh, yeah also uh, well uh, that they plan and so on um and uh, yeah so uh, we are planning uh, to have uh, more uh, ergo hacks for sure as uh, the uh, proven to be successful uh, so um uh yeah uh, next one uh, will be uh, around uh, february uh, but yeah uh, concrete dates will be announced uh, a bit later uh, also well uh in regards with the uh, uh, core development so uh, things uh, are going quite well so a uh, new version uh, for uh, point zero point seventeen uh will be released next week likely and uh, well uh, developers are preparing uh, 5.0 uh, uh, candidates uh, to propose for miners voting so uh, it will bring um, efficiency in smart contracts execution so uh, like five or six x uh, speed up in contracts execution because of simplified costing and uh, yeah also uh, i've put a, a proposal uh, for a soft uh, forking uh, the emission curve to have a prolonged uh, emission uh, so uh, the same uh, total uh, emission uh, but yeah uh, now, now, now to have it uh, prolonged for uh, about uh, 30 or 40 years instead of eight uh, so yeah please participate in discussions and uh, yeah uh, they will be EP published uh, around uh, Monday and uh, then uh, yeah uh, we will have uh, a chat with miners and uh, the community so yeah so, so such things uh, do require for input from uh, all the parties uh, to uh, avoid uh, well uh, community splits and so on um, all right uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's uh, more or less uh, it. Okay, great. Well, thanks thanks for that, Alex. Um, so, uh, I think we're uh, good to get to the uh, AMA portion of the, well, I want to say of the program. Is this a program? Is this a podcast? I'm so confused. You know, I'm, I'm kind of old, so to me... You know, this is still kind of TV or the phone. You know, I don't comprehend this as being something else. You know, I say, I'm in a meeting. I'm on the phone. Like, I'm not really on the phone, but, you know, it's kind of looking at the phone. Anyway, um, so let's uh, let's get to some of these questions that we have here. Um, and so uh, I hope you don't mind, Alex. The first question I found to be really interesting is uh, a question from Carmuth 3 uh and so here's the question so what uh the carbon three asked me what area of business uh, do you see using ergo cardano is focused on financial identity areas and many blockchains are in this in a more advanced stage where do you see ergo picking up business interest well um ergo has um has its own uh has its own nuance its own niche and its own niche is that it can be compact and it can be big at the same time so basically i believe that ergo can still take a piece of that market share good market share for digital identity for blockchain based authentication for uh blockchain based logistics uh for track and trace uh, many of these uh, B2, B2B layer two solutions that are really kind of taking the industry by storm. And the beauty of Ergo is that it can scale to meet, you know, mid-sized business cases and even smaller business cases and then scale up to meet larger business cases. And so this is very important because really what you need to do to gain market share is to be 
a bit flexible in what you can do. And uh, so this is what I think the, uh, how, how Ergo um, can excel because the versatility of Ergo allows us to go from the smaller to mid-sized larger use cases and really be uh, most effective in all three types. So that's, uh, I mean, that's it in a nutshell. And let's see, um, let's see. Oh, uh, so uh, uh, Alex, are, are you coding right now? Uh, yeah, every day. So yeah, I, oh. even today uh, I, I might like, uh, uh, well, to, to, today not much, maybe like 20 uh, lines of code touched. And uh, yeah, the, the, these days I'm, I'm also, uh, well, uh, signed, uh, signing tasks to uh, other developers and uh, reviewing uh, their code. So yeah, uh, this kind of virtual coding, right? So, I mean, I'm, I'm checking how it's uh, done by them and uh, how well it should be done, right? Uh, well, in some ideal world, maybe, and uh, yeah, like can we fix the difference and how? So yeah, okay. I mean, uh, so so every, every day, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm coding. No, I mean, like, are you right coding right now as we do the AMA? Because some people think uh, you are. Uh, no, I mean it's it's quite hard. I mean, <laughs> I wish, but yeah, not, not quite possible. <laughs> it, it's multitasking. I mean, you're a brilliant guy. Multitasking is 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 you know, it, it's not that big of a deal for you. I mean, to me, to walk and chew gum at the same time is going to give me a headache. But you know, I, I don't think it's a problem for you. Um, well, let, let, let's let's get to the next question here. Uh, I think actually uh, this is a good question for you. It's an it, it's an ecosystem question, and so the question is from Bender. Uh, I guess the the robot Bender from Futurama. I don't know if it's the actual robot or somebody calling themselves that. It would be kind of cool. If it was the actual robot. Um, so do you see Ergo in the future having games, casinos, and a metaverse? What do you think about that, Alex? Yeah, so uh, don't know much about how to do a uh, metaverse on top of uh, blockchain and uh, yeah, uh, why. Uh, but yeah, in regards with uh, casinos, so, uh, there were some projects uh, during uh, Hackathon. And uh, yeah, uh, I, 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 I guess it's very uh, well uh, attractive. Uh, Field, right? So yeah, uh, I'm I'm quite surprised that, uh, that, 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 that there are no uh, casinos launched uh, yet on top of Ergo, right? Uh, especially uh, if you have uh, Mixer, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, also, right on, on the application uh, layer. Um, but yeah, um, also um, games. So um, uh, the, there are uh, different uh, games on the uh, blockchain, right? And uh, yeah, uh, I guess, uh, well, we will have some uh, like uh, uh, crypto kitties in the first place, maybe. Uh, well, uh, I'm also quite surprised that uh, we don't have them yet. Yeah, so come on, guys. We, we, we need you to make us some crypto kitties or crypto gnomes. You know, I really like the, the gnome NFTs. The, the, it's just, uh, I don't know, something about it. It's uh, The art is really cool. Um, and there's actually another question, uh, actually so for Alex. Uh, so uh, here's the question. The question is from AOL, uh, AOL Homeris. Uh, uh, anyway, this, this person right here that's on your screen right now. And the question is, how are you going to get the Nipo Paus and Oracles to come into its own? This question. So, how are you going to get Nipo POWs and Oracles to come into its own? So, um, um, all right. So, that's what they're talking about. Yeah. So, uh, for uh, Nipo POWs, um, uh, well, um, uh well uh so, so support on the uh not api is uh, ready right but uh, so yeah uh, uh already uh, some applications uh, can use them right but uh, I, I believe uh, we need uh, for a clear specification right so for external applications uh, to use and uh, yeah uh then uh, there are uh, basically uh, two directions uh, right so in the first place uh, uh we can support nipopos in the north and uh, 
yeah, uh, this work is actually started already. And um, so um, with peer-to-peer uh, -peer, um, uh, support, uh, right, it uh, will be possible uh, to uh, launch uh, your nodes and have, uh, well, full security guarantees in uh, like a few minutes, right? So this is the goal. So it's also uh, related uh, to uh, bootstrapping with ETX or such snapshot I'm working on at the moment also. So yeah, with uh, both of these features, it will be possible uh, to uh, get, uh, well, uh, the full node security in uh, just like, uh, well, uh, few minutes or maybe more uh, well uh, anyway under 20 minutes right so now it's taken uh well like five or six hours right so th this is about totally different uh, user experience uh, for uh, the node users and i believe the number of uh, full nodes uh, will increase um after that and uh, yeah so currently uh, we have uh, about uh, 250 to 300 nodes in the network and uh, yeah uh, we need to uh, target uh, for uh, thousands uh, to to uh, uh to to uh, be launched uh, well uh, to have a kind of a big network right so uh, bitcoin is about so 10000 i guess or something like that uh, so uh, I, I believe with uh, light nodes, uh, uh, we uh, will have, uh, well, m much more uh, nodes running, right? And, uh, yeah, uh, the, then it's also about more decentralized and secure network. After all, so uh, another direction uh, is, uh, well, uh, support uh, NIPOPOWs in the uh, Sigma Rust library, uh, which is used uh, for uh, mobile wallets uh, like uh, Euroi and uh, for applications. Uh, well, uh, most of them, like Sigma USD, is using Kit and uh, as well as other applications. Uh, so uh, yeah, if uh, Nipopos uh, got there, then uh, we can have uh, even uh, mobile uh, clients with uh, real uh, SPV security, uh, which is also yeah kind of a breakthrough. Uh, in mobile wallets and yeah so uh, for uh, applications uh, more applications uh, maybe uh, we can have uh, things like uh, proofs of uh, nft issues on uh, the ergo blockchain right which can be verified without so the knowledge of the blockchain itself um, and uh, uh, stuff like that and uh, yeah uh, with uh, Nipopo support and Sigma Rust, we can do some light applications. Uh, so actually, uh, well, it's uh, already started. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, with it, uh, well, uh, the, there will be possibility to um, get connected to the Erga network, uh, well, in case of very limited internet, right? So when, uh, well, the use of cryptocurrency is very much needed. Uh, for example, when internet access is uh, cut during unrest, um, something like that, right? So when uh, the, there is a real crisis um, around and uh, banks shut down. Uh, so, uh, for example, as was in uh, Lebanon, uh, right, like two years ago. Uh, so, yeah, in, in this case, uh, it's uh, uh, very much... Uh, needed sometimes to use cryptocurrencies right so, and uh, yeah but but uh, of, often internet is uh, cut or, or very limited and uh, yeah in, in these cases uh, uh, well ultralight clients uh, come to rescue um, so yeah uh, for oracle so uh, there is a new oracle uh, for uh, ethereum uh, price uh, launched recently, but uh, I guess uh, uh, oracles are needed uh, for DeFi applications. So uh, with more DeFi applications, uh, there will be uh, more oracles. Uh, and uh, in, yeah, uh, that's it. So uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I see interest in the community to, uh, uh, well, uh, using oracles for uh, some new applications, then yeah, we will see uh, more oracles. You know, it'll be Great. Well, thanks a lot, Alex. Um, so let's move on to this next question that uh, was asked a little bit ago, and I just was a good question for me to answer is from uh, from Julian here, uh, who's asking, 
Who do you see as Ergo's biggest competitors? And and I think it's a question uh, that I and Alex can answer in different ways. Uh, well, let me first kind of take a stab at it. So I always view business in a kind of a, a bespoke type of way. And what do I mean by that? Well, competition is a lot of times it's, 90% in your head, 10% reality, at least to me. Uh, why do I say that? Well, I believe that, especially in the blockchain space, if a, a object like Ergo brings something unique, okay, it's not a, there are things with Ergo that are unique to Ergo that attracted this awesome community to Ergo, that attracted this awesome tech to Ergo, that people to build on Ergo, um, that no other project has. And that's okay, because I don't believe in the whole, you know, one blockchain to rule the mole concept. I don't believe in maximalism. I think maximalism is toxic. And um, when I look at who uh, and think of who are our competitors, I don't see them as competitors. I see them as uh, colleagues working in the same space. I'm, I'm talking about the legitimate projects. I'm not talking about meme coins or whatever, um, but actually legitimate projects that are out there that are doing their thing. They have their own niche. They have their own tech. Um, and it's all about market share. It's all about finding market share and and uh engaging that market share and and taking that market share for yourself and again market share can be shared as well i think um you know one project like for example uh things that we can do with cardano are very symbiotic in a way uh there are some things that you know it's basically can be a mix of Earth and cardano uh on the same project um so okay Basically, just to give you a long story short type of uh, cliff notes, a bridge version, I don't really see anybody as a competitor to Ergo. I see other projects in the space doing things similar, but not the same. I believe that Ergo, if you look at it this way, then Ergo has its own unique solution that nobody else can do and that's okay and also ergo has uh brings value to the entire movement where it can gel and work with other projects so the market can be shared therefore they're not competitors or colleagues to me so i don't see that there is biggest competitor or not a big competitor or any competitors at all i think our biggest competitor is our reservation and moving forward and basically going for what we believe the full potential of the project is. Um, so Alex, how about yourself? What do you what do you think? I mean, you might have a completely different idea about this, about Ergo's biggest competitors. Um, yeah, so I'm uh, not sure about competitors, right? Uh, but yeah, the, the, there are some uh, blockchains uh, which uh, will be eaten uh, by Ergo. Uh, pretty sure uh, like uh, Ravencoin uh, which is just fork of uh, Bitcoin with tokens and uh, uh, yeah no, no contracts basically so it's uh, just like one tenth of Ergo right uh, and uh, yeah Bitcoin cash maybe uh, so yeah uh, not quite sure well uh, yeah, what is the what's the value proposition long term there Right and uh, yeah, so so on, uh, so uh, the, there are some uh, blockchains. Uh, well, uh, for uh, which uh, well proposition is not quite clear, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, there are also uh, a, a, a lot of uh, blockchains. Well, with uh, similar ideas, but uh, still different. So I believe well, uh, uh, they, they will. Uh, uh, survive right in the long term and uh, yeah uh, we will uh, take a look into each other uh, well uh, continue to do that uh, in the long term uh, because yeah I mean uh, it's uh, sometimes not quite clear uh, what is a good idea right uh, it's a bad idea in the space so I mean we, we are doing this they are doing that and then yeah uh, we learn from each other. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, uh, 
I agree that yeah, a, a lot of uh, blockchains uh, will uh, coexist, but uh, yeah, uh, only uh, good ones, hopefully. Great, thank you. And so let's move to this next question about layer two solutions uh, from House of Coins. So do you think Ergo will have layer two similar to Cardano or Ethereum to help with scaling or uh, alternative solutions? So first of all, what do you think about that, Alex? Uh, yeah, so uh, actually I'm uh, reading uh, a lot uh, about layer two solutions uh, this year and uh, studying things. Um, uh and uh, yeah it seems uh, so uh there is uh, no uh clear uh winner uh, here right so if you are talking about state channels uh well with uh, payment uh, channels as primitive form of them and um, uh, plasma uh, rollups uh, hydra uh, and so on right so uh uh fire swap uh, yeah, uh, uh, a lot of uh, things, uh, but um, yeah, uh, they are for different applications, right? And then, uh, yeah, we will have uh, different L2 solutions uh, coexist, uh, I believe. Uh, and, uh, then, yeah, it will be uh, another problem uh, how to uh, make uh, uh, them communicate, right? And uh, yeah. Uh, it's a tricky thing, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I believe uh, that's uh, in, well I, in the uh, uh, short term and mid term uh, there is no any clear winner uh, here. And uh, yeah, so uh, in, in regards Great. with uh, Ergo, so I believe uh, well uh, in the first place uh, we need to, to uh, find. Uh, maybe an application uh, so for example for a lightning network uh, so uh, we uh, can simply uh, take some uh, existing client uh, like uh, eclair for example which is uh, in scala language uh, as well right and we have uh, many scala folks around uh, then yeah we can just uh, remove uh, bitcoin specific part of it and replace it with uh, ergo uh specific solution right for payment channels and uh, yeah that, that, that's it so uh, well uh, payment channels from uh, bitcoin uh, can be supported um well all, all the constructions on top of Argo are uh, quite easy uh but uh, yeah so uh the, the problem here uh is that uh, light network uh, after many years is still not popular uh, in the bitcoin world even and uh, I personally don't use it uh, because, well, currently fees are uh, not high. Uh, so uh, why to mess with some uh, uh, L2 solution if uh, L1 is uh, not expensive? Uh, well, uh, for, for my uh, transactions specifically, right? So um, then, yeah, uh, it's better to concentrate on uh, what's needed. So for example, in case of uh, uh, some uh, community-oriented uh, uh, applications like uh, local exchange trading system. So uh, paying uh, fees to miners uh, can be, uh, well, uh, quite an obstacle. And then, yeah, uh, some auto solution uh, can be uh, very beneficial here. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's um, yeah, about application in the first place all right that's it great thank you um and so uh, here's another question that we've actually been uh talking about a lot and, and you know with team and this is a question from sergio what plans do you have to attract devs to ergo and so first let me speak on that um so again i i believe that it's very important to attract devs not just devs but devs who will build products on Ergo to, well, essentially um, improve um, mass adoption of Ergo and to uh, encourage mass adoption of Ergo. Uh, we have been speaking about several things. And again, uh, these, these have not been put into effect yet. Yeah, this is something that we're allowed, uh, we're uh, thinking about. But one thing is um, a program similar to uh, to a pioneer program at Cardano, so something like Ergo Pioneers, where we can attract uh, new devs to the ecosystem. 
also another uh, another idea that we've been we've been talking about is to have a um, an incubator for a more business uh, somebody is looking to create a business on Ergo. Um, so basically, there's several types of developers. There's developers who want to um, b- uh, improve the ecosystem, build more tools for the core product. There are developers that would like to actually build their two solutions, build a, you know DApps, and do business on Ergo. Uh, and so we need to have an aggregator for both of these. And I believe that a pioneers program and a business developer aggregator is uh two uh, are two very good ideas and that's something that we should really look into i mean what, what are your thoughts about that alex um yeah so um uh, in the first place um well uh, we have uh, things uh, which already have proven how to uh, be working uh, like uh, ergo hacks so, uh, from uh, two ergo hacks we uh, got like uh, uh five or six applications uh well already uh, launched like uh the raffle um and uh, 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 uh coming like uh, argoland uh, in a total wallet uh so um uh yeah so uh other than that uh, we have uh, uh grant programs so uh yeah just today i reviewed uh uh, proposal for the uh, dark fund zero which is uh, uh, for uh, privacy related applications and uh, matters uh, and um, then yeah uh, there is also good wells fund uh, for uh, defi applications so uh, there are some applications there as far as i know and uh, there is also a uh, foundation uh, which can assign uh, grants for uh, literally anything and uh, yeah we are waiting for proposals uh so uh yeah uh, uh in regards for the incubator so uh yeah i, I like this idea and uh, yeah actually uh for uh, some time i'm willing to propose it maybe we can combine it with uh, the hackathons uh so yeah maybe hackathon winner uh, can get a place in the incubator or something like that uh, so, um, yeah, uh, well, so some things already have proven uh, to be working, but yeah, the, there is also a, a big uh, room uh, to improve here, I believe. Great. And so, oh, we, we have a question here. Um, so it's, it's, it's not specific to anything, but uh, so what is your favorite food to eat? Well, um, I guess, you know, I have a variety of foods that I like to eat. I live in Japan, so I like Japanese food. I also like Russian food. But I think Alex uh, likes to eat other blockchains. Is that, is that correct? Sorry? Yeah, I said, I said what, what is your favorite food? We were talking about eating blockchains earlier. Uh, but aside, aside from that, what is your favorite food? Oh yeah, so I'm also eating papers for breakfast. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. As I say, it's yeah. Uh, I guess especially during uh, days I worked uh, in uh, IHK R and D, um, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, so in, in, if we are talking about uh, well, uh, food for human being, <laughs> um, all right. So then, yeah. Um, well, I, I personally uh, do love uh, cooking uh, meat uh, sometimes, especially if it's about uh, some uh, good uh, lamb. Um, so, yeah. Um, um, yeah, lamb is good. Lamb is good. I, I, like, I, like, I like me some good lamb chops. Those are always good. Uh, yeah, so maybe uh, we can uh, have some Egonauts uh, party uh, someday, and uh, yeah, I, I, I will do uh, some... Uh, lamp reefs or something like that um let's see i'll I'll be there i'll be there it's it's kind of a long flight to russia from japan but yeah yeah yeah. but but but, yeah yeah yeah, you're always invited (laughs) um all right so yeah but but, uh usually yeah um, i do prefer uh something uh, simple right so well with no much oil uh, salt and sugar yeah 
uh, all, all that stuff. But yeah, um, I mean, if you are talking about something delicious, then yeah, uh, lamp is good. Uh, if you can find good lamp, uh, well, uh, this is problematic uh, around uh, many uh, regions uh, of the world, uh, based on my experience. All I have to do is go to the local Costco. They, 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 they're pretty good in lamp shops over there. At least I've been lucky. And uh, you know what? Um, actually, another question is, um, well, and this is actually something that, that I've seen quite a bit on social media. People just like to know about you and me, Alex, you know, and this, here's a question. Uh, tell us something about you guys as people. Um, well, I'll tell you, um, me as a person, what do I like? when I'm not blockchain in or business developing or doing this kind of stuff. I like cars. I, I, I am actually, I, I don't advertise it too much to the community, but I'm actually really big on uh, risk, car restoration. I got how many cars? I have cars now. Um, I got two classic cars. I have one semi-classic car. I got a new car, I got a trailer. Uh, my wife is probably gonna kill me if I get another car. Uh, but I just love it. Um, I have my own my own shop uh, at, at my house. Uh, I uh, you know I think from body work to uh, to welding to engine rebuilds. Um, yeah, I, I've done it for years. So this blockchain thing does go well. I'll probably be a mechanic. Um, okay, what about you, Alex? What is uh, what is your what is your thing aside from you know? research papers and, 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 and building blockchain ecosystems. Um, yeah, so in the first place, uh, yeah, uh, basically uh, no time I have, uh, right? Uh, well, so uh, uh, after work and uh, uh, yeah, taking care of uh, relatives, yeah, so uh, well, uh, basically uh, no need time I have. Uh, um, uh, yeah, in the second place, I'm uh, not projecting uh, my personal life into internet, right? Because I'm quite old folk, and uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, that, that 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 looks a bit strange to me, uh, right? Uh, well, to, to 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 send something onto internet. So yeah, you you, you can find uh, uh, anything about my personal life on social media, uh, and so on, um, right? And uh, yeah, so uh, but uh, yeah, if I have some time, so. Um, yeah, uh, sometimes uh, the best uh, thing I can do is uh, uh, purposeless uh, walking, right? So, I mean, it's uh, <laughs> uh, the real privilege if you're a busy guy uh, to do that. Uh, so, um, then, yeah, also, uh, yeah, well, uh, or, or riding a bicycle, uh, uh, well, skis, uh, winter time, uh, something like that. Uh, yeah, also, uh, I, I, I love, uh, yeah, to, to uh, uh, well, uh, walk around uh, uh, city centers, right, with uh, some information uh, written prior, uh, well, about architecture and all that stuff. Um, um, but yeah, it also takes some time, so uh, it's a, a very uh, rare privilege, actually. Uh, so, uh, yeah, something like this. Yeah, also uh, cooking, uh, well, <laughs> lamp and stuff like that if uh, there are some friends around especially um so yeah uh that's uh, basically it so yeah again uh well i, I wish i had more time but uh, yeah um, well it's, it's hard to find it yeah and that's to, to tell me about it i was actually just uh recently accused of being and and, and again this is just hilarious to me because i don't i am not but I've, conf I've been uh, accused of being a, a lazy rich millionaire, which I'm not and I'm not and I'm not. And it's just kind of funny because, you know, uh, uh, I, mean, I, I think maybe some people don't realize, you know, the more successful you get at this business, it doesn't mean the less, the less work you do. Um, it, it doesn't stop. You know, when you're dealing with multiple continents, when you're dealing with, you know, a world community, uh, people that know me, people that do business with me, wonder uh, when I sleep, and I'm sure it's the same with Alex, um, because you know I have to. I wake up. I still have to catch 
uh, the United States that because you know the East Coast that it's still daytime over there. Um, so I have to do calls with the East Coast or with the West Coast, the United States, with the East Coast, United States. Then you know Japan opens up for business. Uh, I do business in Japan. Then you know, basically I wake up at six a.m. Do business with the, the U.S. Then do business with Japan. Then have breakfast. Then uh, you know by the time by the time that's over, I, I have a little bit of time to actually take care of admin. Um, I go to lunch, and after lunch, Europe wakes up. And so so much you know so much for any kind of rest. By the time Europe goes to bed, the U.S. is back up again, and so I end up probably going to bed at around two a.m. If I'm lucky, and then I, then I repeat it again. You know, I wake up at six and seven. You know, four hours of sleep here, a couple of hours of sleep there. Um, and I mean, on one hand, they love it. On the other hand, you know, I mean, you know, any, anybody says that you know, guys like me and Alex are. Uh, you know, are, are, are lucky because we have to do less work, really don't know what the hell they're talking about. I mean, I don't know. Alex, when do you have to rest? Do you rest? Do you spend, do you spend time on the couch? Um, I mean, uh, not, not every night. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, <laughs> the, 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 this happens sometimes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, so uh, what you say is, uh, yeah, sounding... Uh, well, insane, but yeah, very familiar actually. And so yeah, uh, but yeah, also uh, well with uh, coding, right? So um, well, uh, yeah, you 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 have to sleep, right? You, you, you need for some sleep. Uh, well, uh, uh, otherwise you, you cannot do anything. So um, yeah, but but yes, so sometimes you coding. Uh, uh, during late nights, well, because nothing disturbing you, and uh, yeah, so actually, uh, well, uh, the most productive uh, days for coding uh, are uh, Saturday and uh, Sunday, uh, because well, uh, no one is disturbing you. Well, almost no one. So well, uh, uh, still has well, uh, but there are some. Uh, communications happening right during the weekend. So yeah, I mean, yeah, basically, it's about uh, working all the time. You are not sleeping, and uh, yeah, so, so some sometimes instead of right, and uh, yeah, uh, sometimes pretty often instead of uh, sleeping. Yeah. Um, oh, and, and and actually, this the, here is. Um... There's actually a couple of questions that I would like to bring up. Well, first of all, um, and we can both speak on this, is what is your marketing strategy to reach adoption from developers mainly based in the U.S. and Canada? So, um, I mean, first of all, uh, what do you think, Alex? What is, what, is your, uh, what is your take on this? Yeah, so I think it's uh, quite uh, like a puzzle, right? So uh, you, you need for uh, some... Uh, application suite right to be built on top of Argo. So uh, this about uh, the decks, uh, well, uh, bridges, auction house, right, and uh, yeah, stable coins and uh, yeah, loan applications and so on. Uh, then uh, yeah, uh, you can uh, combine them uh, together, right, and uh, yeah, on top of Argo you have uh, good composability. Uh, well, better than uh, for uh, Ethereum, uh, for example, right? So in many cases, uh, you have composability for free here, uh, right? So in some video, I did show uh, how uh, to uh, fund an Oracle uh, directly uh, from the mixer, uh, right? Similarly, uh, well, uh, I, I uh, did show once uh, how to make a bit uh, directly from the mixer, um, and um, yeah, so uh, the Ergodex uh, has very uh, composable design actually. So uh, the same contracts uh, for MM and uh, other uh, book based DEXs. Uh, Dex, uh, DEXs. Um, yeah, uh, and um, uh, then, yeah, so uh, for example, with stablecoin, right, uh, you uh, can provide uh, loans uh, in. Uh, well denominated in uh, USD, for example, 
right and uh, yeah well with high volatility of cryptocurrencies this is better uh, and uh, similarly uh, yeah you, you can uh, make uh, you, you can put stuff uh, nfts for example on ergo auctions uh, well with uh, well conditions denominated in uh, usd rights uh, for better stability of your income and so on so um yeah well uh, uh the combinations of applications uh, do really uh, matter right so uh, well for example you can crown fund and then use uh, uh multi-seek uh, DAO, so ergo team or zero knowledge uh, treasury right to control uh these funds raised in crowdfunding campaign right and, uh, yeah again uh, to avoid uh, volatility in pricing uh, you can do this uh, using stable coin right so yeah the, the, the real adoption and it's uh, for uh, many uh, pieces right so then uh, you, you have uh, well convenience in using this uh, machinery to uh, achieve uh, well uh, the goals and uh, yeah uh, the goals uh, uh, I think is uh, well uh, to uh, have uh, freedom uh, to use uh, financial applications when uh, you uh, don't have uh, banks around so, right so if uh, they are uh, inconvenient to use or expensive or even if uh, they're, they're not uh, providing services right so you you want to use like crowdfunding and so on. Um, so yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, traditional internet is also uh, not providing right uh, this convenience, this composability, and so on. Uh, so well, uh, with convenience, uh, you are getting adoption, and um, yeah, adoption is uh, also uh, well a self bootstrapping mechanism, right? So uh, first, uh, you are getting um, users. NFT artists, for example, uh, right, and then uh, yeah, liquidity providers uh, for the uh, stable coin, right, to serve uh, those artists are going to use uh, uh, stable coin in the auctions, for example, and uh, so on, so on, uh, right. So yeah, uh, this is uh, kind of a self-serving uh, mechanism, and uh, yeah, so uh, many pieces already in place actually. Uh, so yeah, uh, just uh, use them and uh, yeah, do your own experiments. Um, there's actually another question. Um, well, a I, I guess it can be a I can consider a, a follow up, but maybe not. It's I, to me, it's in the same realm. And so, what are your thoughts of being considered by Charles? But what I think they mean is by input output. Uh, global as an experimental platform where other crypto projects can uh, that uh, uh, that other crypto projects can use. Any plans of becoming the Kusama of Cardano? And actually, Alex, you and I had these conversations. I think that uh, Ergo is perfect for this because of uh, of its uh, scalability and its ability to be used uh, or, or to to lead prototyping. Uh, um, for other, you know, for, for Cardano, especially for Cardano, I believe. Um, so I think that there is a lot of um, a lot of potential to do that with Cardano. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Um, yeah, so uh, if we are talking about application prototypes, uh, then uh, yes, so uh, uh, well, it's it's perfect. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, there are uh, some examples uh, we have already, right? So the uh, stablecoin uh, which was launched on Ergo and uh, yeah, go going to be launched on Cardano, um, right? And uh, yeah, so uh, in, in case of Ergo, so uh, there are uh, some uh, factors, uh, uh, right, which are well uh, going to be good. Uh, for uh, experimentation, uh, so uh, for for example, uh, well, uh, um, yeah, the the tooling uh, is uh, there, right? So was there? So I don't know much about the current state of uh, tooling uh, for contracts in Cardano, right? But for it's uh, there, and uh, yeah, so uh, the uh, language 
is a simple uh, right the Argo script. So you just need to understand the UTX model, uh, which is quite tricky for developers still. Uh, but yeah, after that, so uh, the language is quite simple. And yeah, so in Ergo, we also have uh, anonymous developers and uh, yeah, a lot of anonymous folks, right? So uh, for example, uh, the launch of the stablecoin was done uh, by uh, an anonymous uh, guy and uh, yeah, UI was done by an anonymous guy. So uh, yeah, then, uh, uh, well, uh, unlike uh, the uh, jet example with Koti, uh, right, uh, which I believe I need to spend uh, a lot of time with lawyers, right? So uh, here, well, uh, well, uh, the uh, anonymous folks are doing uh, their, their job, right, so quickly. Well, uh, yeah. Great, great. Well, I think, uh, yeah, we're at the top of the hour right now. So I, uh, sorry guys, I know there's more questions and, and like I said, we'll be doing this every week. So don't worry if you didn't get your question in this time, there's always next week and uh, please, you know, you know, don't be discouraged. We will, we will make sure that we get to you. Um, and so, yeah, in this coming week, there's, we're going to have uh, some really exciting announcements. Um, I hate to do the Trump thing and, uh, you know, I give you announcements about announcements, but um, I guess that's what I'm doing. Anyway, uh, the coming week is going to be really exciting. There's going to be some cool things coming out. Um, I hope that the community uh, will be as excited as I am about these new developments. And so, Alex, would you like to say to the community before we sign off? Um, oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, get your hands uh, dirty with Ergo. So, yeah, do your own uh, experiments with uh, applications and, uh, yeah, uh, be brave. And, uh, yeah, see you uh, next week. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Alex. And we will see you next week.